So this was a late night impulse purchase on Amazon, but man, I've been looking everywhere for something like this. I don't even know what company makes this thing, but check this out. We have an 80 amp main breaker, and we have four 20 amp breakers, and each one supplies an outlet, and there's an energy meter on top. So instead of wiring up a small panel just to run some circuits, you can throw this on any off-grid system and boom, you can connect your loads. So all those hand truck and cart systems, instead of having a stupid extension cord, you could just have this. It's rated for 80 amps, like no one's gonna hit this with an off-grid small system, but you can connect it to anything very easily. But is it any good? Please just surprise me, gosh dang it, for once. For once I'm actually rooting for something. It's actually not that bad. And there's ferrules on everything. And they're solid? Yes, this is great. Can you believe it? It's actually good. This might not catch on fire. And it's waterproof, it has a seal. This is great. Now for continuous duty, which we're probably not gonna be pulling 80 amps from this, we need a 100 amp breaker single pole. I don't know if I have one, but I'll find the biggest one I can. If this thing does not catch on fire, I'm buying multiple. Cause I always put these outlets everywhere. Imagine if I have an 80 amp outlet anywhere I need it. I wonder if they have a 240 volt version, like a NEMA 1450, a 650P, that would be cool. Oh, that's my lights. There we go. And I found an 80 amp breaker. We could even mount it on the wall. That was so easy. Don't look in there. It's a little messy, but it's okay. Of course, someone's gonna complain. Shows the voltage, amperage, power in watts. All right, let's test it. So heat gun number one, number two, number three, 4,000 watts. Oh, there's a small H in the corner. This is a kilowatt hour counter. We're pulling 36 amps, that's nothing. All right, let's add another. And number four, so I can't find the fourth one. 49, these conductors are cold to the touch. It's not even straining this thing. Maybe it will not catch on fire. This is so nice. We're gonna put on the solar cart and then on the 12,000 XP and then I'll be set for outlets. Now instead of having four different breakers and all of these little outlets, you can just throw this on the wall. Perfect for off-grid guys, man. You could also use this for mobile systems, not only the carts, but for RVs and vans. They'll never use this much power and look how small this thing is. Let's see if the kilowatt hour meter is working. 5,600 watts. We've only pulled half a kilowatt hour. All right, this is sweet. So I'm gonna run it for a few months. If it melts, Else, I'll tell you. And for testing, I can connect some mini splits. So those will use a lot of power over the course of a month. And I'll rack up those kilowatt hours and report back. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I got so excited when this came in the mail. Now imagine if they had six or eight outlet versions. So anyways, just another thing on the internet that you shouldn't be buying, but you probably will because it's so freaking cool. So anyways, I hope you liked the quick video and I will see you in the next one.